All right, so this is just my regular cut bacon that I put in my muffin tin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bowl and a little brush and I'm gonna get some Kinder's barbecue sauce. You can use whatever barbecue sauce you like. Just shake it in there. That should be plenty. And we are gonna go ahead and brush that bacon oh so lightly with this barbecue. Just give it a nice, you know, flavor seasoning on each of our pieces of bacon. What we're making here today is a super easy and super meaty appetizer that everyone will love. It's so flavorful, so meaty, and just so easy. I love brushing my bacon with barbecue sauce because it just takes it to the next level. It gives that nice Texas feel to it. So quickly, just very, very lightly brush it. You don't need a lot because you don't want too much liquid because this is raw bacon and there will be some grease in here. That's another reason why you don't need to grease your pan either. Just get your bacon grease to do the job for you. Okay, last one. Now that we got that delicious barbecue sauce on our bacon, like I said, this is a meat lovers appetizer. So we're gonna grab some smoked sausage. Ooh yeah. And what we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna cut some sausage right in there. We just need a little piece in each one. It's a nice, you know, inch, half inch thick piece of sausage. Oh my, this is looking so good already. I mean, who doesn't love bacon and sausage? They're like the best combination. Okay, just get a piece in each one of our muffin holes right in the middle of that bacon. Ooh, this is looking good. Okay. Go ahead and make sure all of your little sausages are flipped upwards, just like this, super quickly. And then we're gonna move on to the best part. All right, this is looking good. So we're gonna move this to the side. Grab a whisk and a bowl. I have here some jalapeno cream cheese. Ooh, and we are gonna wanna get that whole thing out. Oh yeah, I love jalapenos. Now, if you don't like jalapenos, if you don't like the spice, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. Just kidding. You can use regular cream cheese if you don't like jalapeno. We use that whole container. Now, I'm gonna grab some sour cream and we're gonna do about half a cup of sour cream in there. Maybe three fourths a cup, eh, a little bit more. <laughs> I like sour cream. Now I have some sharp cheddar cheese and we're just gonna sprinkle that right in there. That looks beautiful. And of course, what goes great with cream cheese and cheddar, some chives, and we're just gonna sprinkle those right in there. Beautiful. And then lastly, some pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt to this one because that cream cheese is salty enough, but you know, if you like, a salty, you know, little mixture, go for it. Okay, but really get a lot of pepper in there because that's gonna season up the whole dish. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix all of these together to get a great little like cream cheese, sour cream, cheddar, little delicious creamy filling. Oh yeah, these are gonna go right with those sausages and bacon. D Delicious. Oh, and look how quickly that mixed together. I mean, come on, that was the easiest thing I've ever done. Let's go ahead and make sure you get all that off the whisk. Delicious. Go ahead and grab our muffin tin back. These are ready to be filled. And I have here a little scooper and we're gonna scoop right into each one of our muffin tins. Just like this, you don't need to do a whole lot. I'm using a mini scooper, like I said. Cover up that sausage, or put it on the side. However, however it lays will work. Just make sure to get that right in there. This is just gonna really bring out all those delicious flavors. So good, so easy. Oh yeah, this is looking delicious already, and it smells good already. That bacon, even not cooked yet, smells incredible. Okay, almost done here. Just 
finish up our little mixture and you have some left over, you can always fill up the ones that you didn't get too much in. Like I think this one needs a little bit more. And maybe this one. Beautiful. And I'm just gonna put some chips in that and eat that. All right. So you could totally leave it like this and it would be a great little appetizer. You guys know me, I always need to have something a little fun on top. I'm gonna put this to the side one more time and I'm gonna grab some fresh jalapenos and we are gonna just go ahead and cut these up super quick because we just want some fresh jalapenos to put right on top. You can leave the seeds on there. It does not matter. Just make sure they're washed and that they're cut into little coins. We only need 12, so I probably overbought with the jalapenos, but you know what? I, my family loves jalapenos, so you can never have too many jalapenos in my house. Ooh, look how beautiful those look. Gorgeous. Okay, I think we just need one more out of this one, and then I think that's gonna be plenty of jalapenos for our dish. Go ahead and grab these. and then just place one right on top. And voila, our appetizer is ready for the oven. Delicious. Oh yeah, that fresh jalapeno is just gonna cook up and bring all those juices throughout the dish. It is gonna be perfect. Look, I cut the perfect amount of jalapenos too. All right, so my oven is set to 350 and this is gonna cook for about 30 minutes. We'll check on it at 30 minutes. Oh my, these smell so good. Ugh, I cannot wait to try one. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm using my little spatula and it should just scoop right out. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Okay, of course I need two though because they look decadent. Oh, look at that. I cannot wait to try these. The bacon is cooked perfectly. We have that sausage, the jalapeno. Let's see how well it holds together. Ooh, it's hot. Okay. 